Real talk. And hopefully I don't have any food in my teeth. I just had zoodles and a veggie burger and some red sauce. But real talk. Because I need to wake up. And for those that didn't see my stories, this is my pre-workout. It's natural. It's plant-based. Um, I put some ACV in it to get some uh, digestion antioxidants. So yeah, I'm drinking this midday um, to wake up. And the story goes, I'm a little exhausted, of course, and I've been crying off and on because about my grandbaby. Stay tuned for that because we don't know anything. Hey, we don't know anything yet, but stay tuned for that. <laughs> Trying to laugh it off and giggle off because that's how I like treat things in life is got to think positive, got to see the good in things no matter the struggle. But I will give you guys updates on my grandbaby as I know about it. But this is something about something totally different. Um, so definitely got to get the book Girl Wash Your Face. And I wish I had the book with me, but I gotta do real talk with you guys because so that you know what I'm doing right now. There's a chapter, and I forget which chapter, maybe Mel, you can look it up, <laughs> where it talks about you and your spouse doing the dirty for 30 days. <laughs> Backstory. Me and my husband have been married 23 years. I know. I don't look it. I got married when I was 19. We eloped after 30 days of being together. Um, one time I wanted to leave him. One time he wanted, me to leave, he wanted to leave me. He's five years older. We got together. Um, we met at a bowling alley. <laughs> so, you know, stuff gets stale. Just keeping it real, you know? We've married 23 years. So when I read Girl Wash Your Face, by the way, I need to order another book because I, I need I need to fill my cup. There's a chapter in there about um, having sex with your spouse for 30 days, and I'm like, I don't even know if I've ever done that before, and maybe that'd be awesome to spice things up. Just saying. So we did stuff on Sunday because no one was home midday, so that was awesome. And then last night, traditionally he'll work out, uh, not work out, he works out like five times a week and um, on, uh, and after he does, he's done working out, he likes to go in the game room and he's like obsessed with PlayStation. And I'm totally fine with that because then I have the TV to myself and he doesn't go anywhere. I know where he is, not that I care, not like I'm, I have a leash on him, but that's his thing, that's his joy. So I told him last night, even though I knew I was gonna be freaking tired because I'm training for a marathon, um, you better wake me up. I don't care how late it is. <laughs> I wanted to see if he would do it. He would do it, cause right now we're on a streak, two days in a row. 31 days in July. Let's see if we can do it. I should have named this thing. I should have named it Jump in July. Ah, oh, Jump in July. Jump him in July. I'm gonna save this to my IGTV, like for real. And he did, he woke me up. So, cheers to that, two days in a row. So I just wanted to, hey, um, just wanted to keep it real that if you want to read an amazing book, first of all, Girl, Wash Your Face, it's probably my most favorite book to date as far as self, personal development. Hey, girl. If you're looking for like some tough love, mommy support, um, girl boss things, all the things, dreams, you've got to get that book. It's amazing. And I read a lot of personal development books and sometimes they're not all for me because um, I did try to read Teas for Transformation. I really did. I mean, I struggled. I, don't, I, I like skipped through a lot of pages. I'm more about The Secret. Um, i trying to think what else. Pretty Happy by Kate Hudson freaking amazing get that on audio some more about that kind of stuff you know mommy stuff girl boss stuff combination books secret dreaming big all these things so so if you um, struggling like to spice it up in the room just keeping it real join me for 30 days um, if you want to start today you can if you want to start in August or pick a month I picked July because I was traveling in June I had no and he, he knew a month in advance this was happening he was excited, kind of. 
yeah, he was excited. Because as soon as I told him about it, he was like, ooh, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so if you want to spice things up with your husband and, you know, things can. You've been married 23 years. Things can go, you know, can get boring sometimes. I mean, hello, we're human. I'm human. I'm busy. He's busy. Work full time. Watch the grandbaby every day, so that's draining. Um, you know, I'm a also a, a part-time uh, online fitness coach. I do that from my phone and I'm training for a marathon, so I'm super busy. So, it's been, like I'm sitting here at work thinking about, when are me and hubby gonna do it again? Like, kinda thinking about it right now, like, <laughs> is that how it works? Like, you're consistent and then you can't stop thinking about your spouse? We'll see, I'm only on day two, or day three, today's day three, we hadn't done it yet, but, I can't stop thinking about him. Like he actually woke me up last night. <laughs> so anyways, just my advice. If you want to, because it seems to be working, I can't stop thinking about my spouse, change things up. The challenge is it doesn't matter the time constraint. It doesn't matter the spot in the house. It doesn't matter if you're maybe out. That hasn't happened yet because I'm only on day three and you hadn't got it done. And sometimes it's gonna be daunting it will spice up your marriage. <laughs> so I hope this helped you on, I don't know what this is called, Tuesday love, Tuesday tough love, tough it out, truth Tuesday, tasty Tuesday. If you want an awesome pre-workout, let me know. I'll hook you up, plant-based, all natural. This is my coffee of choice. I don't drink coffee. I haven't drank coffee for almost three years, two and a half years, because I can't drink it black. I really did try. So. Love you girls for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing well. Have a beautiful Tuesday. I hope this motivated you with your spouse. And um, let me know if you decide to start today. Or let me know below if you decide to choose a month that you're not traveling. So, wish me luck guys. I love you guys. Have a great Tuesday. And thank you for all the love and support on my page. It means the world to me more than you know. I'll keep you posted on my grandbaby. We don't know anything yet, um, but I will keep you posted. So far, so good. Um, if you want more information on what's going on with that, send me a message and I'll tell you it's a little bit of a story. But I'll talk to y'all soon. Love you too, girl. Love you too.